that business about playing the two note forms. If you'd, if you'd not played chords before, those two note forms are a great starting point because when you play the A form, which you've, which you've formed like that anyway, so you learn to form it like that, you've got your finger in the right note, the right position for the first A chord because let me show you on the board, the A chord, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the A chord quickly. I think I've got a set of chord, I've got a, I've got a chord dictionary as well, a little one sheet chord dictionary, I'll hand them out as well. We'll do the rest of the chords next week because a few people are not here who haven't done chords as well. So we'll do the, the other chords, but we'll start with A, but if you want to have a fathom about the D and the E, you're more than welcome to tinker about with them. But let me just show you the process. So we started off in week one by playing the A string, yeah? Week one and two. Then I added in week four. No, last week was maybe week three, actually. Then I added in first finger going there. And we started playing both strings together. These are not played, right? Now, the, now the thing is, isn't the, to form that, I had you doing this. I had you doing, doing this OK shape and then putting it round. Now, now the trick is, that's not a, that's a, that takes a bit of practice, finding that note. Finding that note to play those two strings. But it's also the start of your A chord. If you watch the board now, what you have to do is you basically put, add a couple of extra fingers, finger two and finger three, and finger three in an ideal world will clear so that that, that string still rings. And that, can you see how you, A5 is that? That's A5. When you don't play anything, you don't play anything further than that. And then I, just the normal A major chord, A major, is, is that. You just add those two strings. Does that make sense? relative to, because I'd rather you play stuff with A, I'd rather you play one string like we were just doing, like I was doing in that one. But if, as soon as you're ready to play the two strings, I'd rather you go to the two strings. As soon as you're ready to the chord, I'd rather you go to the chord. But I, want, I need to give you those options, because it's timing and playing that I want you to do. Not, not always this stuff, yeah? So, now the trick is this, you see, once you form that O shape with your fingers, you put your finger round into the correct position for A5, the, what you do is turn your, hand, turn your hand away a little bit, but keep that O shape gripping around, around your neck, and you'll be able to squeeze in, one by one, or whatever, the fingers. You have to move up and down the neck a little bit, so I'll just do that, I'll, I'll do that close up, because I might be able to share that. And then, so you've got this shape, this goes round onto the A5 there, and then probably has to slide down the fret a bit, and then round, and then in. And then fingers, the fingers go like that. The fingers go like an archway at 90 degrees to each other's knuckles and you play all through. So I'll just come show you up close.